If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What's up guys, I'm Tom and FC Evan and welcome to a brand new Schalke career mode episode and we are in the Champions League as you can see in the group we only have six points because we have drawn the first three games of the of the four group games that we played and we are off to play Valencia away from home and it, it could be good if we won of course but even a draw is not the worst result because we are playing Lech Poznan in the last game at home so I fully expect to beat them and then we are definitely through but if we lose to Valencia we could be in big big trouble because then uh, we could be out if Saint Etienne beat Lech Poznan but it's a very open group this is the team that I'm playing with Höger comes in um, into the midfield Farfan comes back from his injury he's, uh, he's recovering so he can play so let's go and let's see what we can do in this game Welcome to the Mestalla Stadium, Valencia against Schalke, this is an absolutely titanic, huge, huge Champions League game, because if we win, we are pretty much through to the next round, and, but if we lose, we, we, have, we could be out, because if Saint Etienne we beat us, then they could be through as well, so this is a very, very interesting, very close Champions League game, I guess it will be very hard fought, so let's try and beat Valencia. Mastaya is one of the most iconic stadiums in Spain, so I wonder what will happen in this game. We lost to Bayern Munich in the previous game, very unlucky game, losing 3-2 to them. But now let's try and bounce back, they play Jonas Gutierrez or Jonas up front, not sure who is that, and uh, I, I'm not. I'm, I think it's Honas from Valencia, not not the Newcastle player. So not Honas Gutierrez, just Honas, and also they have Cardado up uh, on the wing. Let's see how it goes, guys. Oh my God! What a chance! Banega almost scores for Valencia. We have to be really careful. That was the first real chance of the game. I can't get through, man. I can't get through. This Valencia defense is very strong. Martinez! Ah, oh, damn it. What a boring, go boring game, really uneventful, but to be honest, the draw suits me better, more, because Saint Etienne and Valencia play each other, and we are playing Lech Poznan, who are the weakest team in the group. So actually, I think I, I can still qualify, and if Valencia drop points, I can go through as group winners. So let's see uh, what happened in the in the Lech Poznan Saint Etienne game wow are you serious Lech Poznan beats Sporting sorry Saint Etienne that's amazing guys wow this this turns the group on its head let's see oh my goodness let's see the Champions League table and how it looks like before we go into our next Bundesliga game this is astonishing Oh my god, this is a, this actually this that result actually suits us. Where are the where are the Champions League groups? Oh I skipped them. Okay, here it is. So Real Madrid and Dortmund are through in this group. Real Madrid pretty much won the won the group. Roma and Tottenham are through as well. Sporting and Bayern Amazingly Sporting lead the group, which is really ast astonishing. And wow, Lech Poznan still have a chance to qualify if they beat us. So if we get a 
if we get a draw, we might get, we might qualify because Valencia and Saint Etienne uh, play each other. But uh, I think I will beat Slack Poznan. If Valencia beat Valen uh, if, if Saint Etienne beat Valencia, I can qualify as group winners. But I won't be bothered because won't be bothered bothered to be runners up because as you can see, either way, if, if we finish first or second, either way we get a big team. Pretty, pretty it's that's pretty much certain. Uh, so um, a really, really amazing Champions League campaign. Four draws in five group games, and now let's go away to Frankfurt in the Bundesliga. And Frankfurt are actually fifth in the table. So if we win this game, we cement our top four place pretty much. So this will be my team. Draxler coming in for Höger, but pretty much that's our strongest team at the moment. And we are off to Frankfurt, and. Uh, uh, we, we basically beat the smaller teams, but we lost to our title rivals Dortmund and Bayern Munich. So we have to still put a winning run together if we want to have a chance at uh, the Bundesliga title. And the first game in that task is Frankfurt away. Let's go. What a stadium. The fans are really up for it. Frankfurt are fifth in the table. Schalke are second. So if we win this game, we cement our top four place in the league. But I really want to win the league. It's nine points now behind Dortmund, which is really astonishing, to be honest. Dortmund are on a mad man winning run. But let's try to do that ourselves. Let's try to beat Frankfurt here. This will be a difficult game. All Bundesliga games away from home are difficult. Let's go. Sydney Sam! Oh, fucking hell, unlucky. Martinez! What a save! Oh my days. Oh! Oh, come on, Sam! Please! No! How did he save that? Muriel! Yes! 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 Lewis Muriel back on the goal train! Finally! Another brilliant, brilliant counter-attack! Frankfurt are having a high line, so we are exploiting that with the brilliant through balls. And Muriel fires in straight to make it 10 goals for the season. Luis Muriel is having a stormer season. We just needed to sort out the defending. And then I will sure, surely win many, many games because we have a brilliant firepower up front. I might sign a defender and a goalkeeper in the January transfer window because that's where we are lacking at the moment. Muriel, 10 goals in the Bundesliga. Oh my days, what a counter-attack by Frankfurt. That was a big chance, thankfully they missed. Let's make three subs. Eswein, a little bit more pace up front, uh, comes on for Martinez and also Höger and uh, Holdby coming on for a little bit more steel in midfield, just to keep this 1-0 lead or maybe extend it. Muriel unlucky. Yes, guys! Yes! We grinded out another victory in the Bundesliga. It wasn't pretty, especially in the second half. But we defended really well. That's what we need to do. Keep a lot of clean sheets. Because we will score one or two free goals in pretty much every single game. We should have scored more goals. We had six shots on target. Huge, huge free points. Away from home, it's so difficult to win. Huge free points in the Bundesliga. So here are the latest results from the Bundesliga and the big two, Bayern Munich and Dortmund, both won their games. So that's why it was so, so vital to win against Frankfurt. And uh, the January transfer window is coming very soon where we will strengthen our team a lot more. So let me know, guys, who should I sign, who should I sell in the January transfer window. And let's see the top scorers in Bundesliga. 
Muriel is second in the top scorers chart. He's having a brilliant season. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this career mode episode. If you did, smash that like button and let me know who should I sign in a January transfer window. I need a goalkeeper and possibly a center back or a right back or a left back. I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later guys. Goodbye. Wow, I'm really nervous. We are not on our best form. We just lost the previous game in the 88th minute. I'm still gutted about that and angry, but let's turn our, our attention into Europe. Benfica and Anderlecht are already through to the next round of the Champions League.